On Black Friday, a busy shopping day of discount deals and a symbol of consumerism, thousands of activists staged protests across the globe to show the harmful effects on the environment of constant consumption. In Frankfurt, Germany, activists blocked access to stores in a shopping mall as shoppers searched for deals. I am striking today to protest the climate crisis, which is caused by a desire for profit and benefits a few people in politics and industry, and which is destroying the livelihood of people already. In Madrid, Spain, which is preparing to host the annual climate conference next week, Activists from Greenpeace scaled a building, unfurling a massive banner reading, consumerism equals climate crisis. A protester held a sign that said, Black Friday, Black Planet. I would love to be up there. I do like it, and of course shops and consumerism worsen climate change. It's a real emergency and we have to be conscious of it. By taking small actions every day, we can help the cause even if we think it doesn't help. Police moved in, arresting some of the protesters. In New Delhi, demonstrators held a so-called die-in to demand action before it's too late. Anyone who's staying in Delhi knows that we've seen our environment go from bad to worse, and this Delhi smog was just the beginning of it. It's pretty simple. We want everyone around us, the government, the people, to realize and acknowledge the fact that right now we have a climate emergency and to treat it the same way. Some shoppers in France took matters into their own hands, pushing through the blockade to reach the discounted merchandise inside. More protesters gathered in front of the United States Capitol in Washington, D.C. Among them, U.S. actress Jane Fonda, who has been repeatedly arrested for her involvement in recent protests. Children urged the government to cut carbon emissions. Experts say some of the changes we're seeing happening across the globe, from the warming of the Arctic to the melting of ice sheets to the destruction of the rainforests, could soon become irreversible. Protesters say that governments are not doing enough to stop this. But are governments listening? A good indication could be the results of that conference in Madrid. Toby Muse, CGTN, Washington.